This playthrough is rated M for Mature. You know, it's never good to leave home without your tool. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While I'm back here with another episode of Parasite Eve. In the last episode, we've almost upgraded our weapon to pure awesomeness. Close, I just missing a couple of tools. And we had to go into the sewers again, but it is a city, so at some point we're going to go into the sewers multiple times, and we're getting attacked. But there is an item I missed previously, so I'm going to go ahead and get that before we head on. Um, uh, oh, well, at least I've got pretty good defense at this point. It's not a big deal, but it ah, also got poison too. Man, got a bit unlucky with those. Uh, uh, that? Getting hit. Not a, bit, not a good start to an episode, I guess. Oh. Funny enough, it's pretty easy to dodge the snakes. Just I got a, uh, I got too careless. And here, pretty soon, as soon as we max out our, or as soon as we get all the abilities and the weapon I want, I can finally um, uh, not have to worry about groups of enemies anymore because of the burst ability, which is uh, probably the best, one of the better abilities in the game. And it comes from a shotgun, which I guess makes sense, but it's kind of funny. Do, do, actually, I'm trying to remember how many shotguns we actually get in the game. I think it's the only one, maybe something that post content, but anyway, if I check over here, oh, right. Let me drop off, uh, I can use a medicine too, I guess. I also need to drop off some cure, cure D's. So cures D's nuts. Yeah, no one's ever made that joke before. Anyway, there's a tool here. That's what that's what I was missing. I was kind of wondering to myself, like, what am I missing? I, I thought I had enough to like get everything I wanted, and or to make my you know Ultima weapon. And I was like, mm, must have missed something. But and yeah, it was that tool I was recall not getting. So let's go ahead and move. Um, tune up the micro Uzi, and we're gonna put all our stats into this bad boy, and we're gonna make the Ultimate weapon. Yeah, see, now it's got all the stats. It's got burst fire times three and first shot. So, or first strike, I mean. So, let's uh, quit that micro Uzi. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to be able to wreck groups of enemies. I don't know for the rest of the game, but it'll definitely help with uh, crowd control. And battles will probably go a little bit faster, too, actually. I don't know if I'd say crazy faster, but a little bit faster. You know, especially random random battles and anything like that. Wasn't trying to get an extra counter from uh, those enemies over there. Actually, does anybody say anything else when we come back up? Thank goodness, you're safe. Oh, okay. Yes, it was all thanks to your, all thanks to your, uh, the uh, thing you gave me, the, the Protecto Charm, even though it doesn't actually do anything and it wastes a bit of space. Didn't like could go all the way back to Wayne and just drop it off, but that, it's a little bit silly and unnecessary, but uh, still. All right, let's check the other half of the cave and see what else is in here. Uh, surprise, it's going to be more bats. But let's see if we can get all the treasure around here. Yeah, I could have gotten this one earlier, but... Uh, yeah. All right, there should be a treasure down here that I can... It's not like this... Uh, for the most part, this cave isn't really a uh, range. Um, I'm trying to run what else you can get there. I think you can also get offense plus one. Um, as well, so, oh yeah, I need a sword, I almost forgot to do that. Oh yeah, I've actually got quite a few cure Ds. Let's, uh, get rid of a few of them, because the game's just going to give me more. But yeah, can you get range, or I think offense is also there too, but I could be wrong. And really, we're never going to, unless you're using rifles, you're never going to get a, a machine gun to be uh, as high of a range as a, as a rifle is. So... Okay, nothing that way. I was trying to remember. I don't remember exactly every single tre the like the quickest way to get through treasures. So, all right. Yeah, I got the ammo, the offense. Let's see. Hmm. I thought there was supposed to be some random encounters that I was supposed to run across a couple of times. Maybe I. Uh, maybe I hit them already or something. Um. Let's see. Actually, I think I'm. Supposed to go down next. Let me grab. No wait, I want to go up, up first because I think there's something that way. Maybe maybe is the sections repeat and they're the same as as other parts of the uh, um, cave. Okay, th this is the one I was looking for. But anyway, we get one of the 
rarest weapons we can get, or rapid, rarest items we can get outside the post game or random drops, this super tool, what that does is allows you to transfer something over without destroying the weapon. So it allows you to basically either save the weapon for later or transfer over multiple things from a single weapon to a new one. So if you wanted to transfer like an ability and the stats, use the super tool to, uh, to transfer out the stats, for example, and then use a regular tool to transfer um, the other ability or whatever you want. Anyway, you're going to get another cure D here. Not that we don't have enough cure Ds already, but why not more? Yeah, I'm not getting any dr like encounters, really, weirdly enough. I guess the sewers, not every room has a unique encounter in it because, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting nothing. Let's see. I think. Yeah, hopefully I'm finding everything. Like I said, I might go back later and double check. I'm always, every, I don't know why, I always I always tend to forget like the little, ah, oh, final encounter. Um, I always keep forgetting like little, little details. Uh-oh. But with the power of first strike and burst, should I be, oh, I should be hitting all of them. Okay. Huh. Well, yeah, we'll do it. Well, we hit the two. For some reason, it's supposed to hit, like, a group of them, but for some reason, it's not. It's supposed to be hitting all of them, so. Oh, I got poison. Dang it. Now well, we can try and kill them before it really affects us. But, yeah, see the power of it? We hit multiple enemies back to back, so awesome. Alright. I think. I think I want to keep going down, if I recall. Yeah, I'll just keep discarding these. Yeah, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to remember every single drop. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I wanted to get that. Here we get a Medicine 3. I thought there was something else that drops in there, too, not just the Medicine 3. Anyway, uh-oh, more bats. Ah, nice, we didn't get... Okay, I'm supposed to, he must have just moved barely out of my range or something like that. Because, yeah, I'm supposed to be able to hit all of them. But I don't know why you keep accepting the cure Ds. I don't need these anymore. Well, I I need a couple of them. I don't need all of these. Heck, after we deal with the sewer section, we won't need the cure Ds, I think, for the rest of the game. It's kind of weird that in the main storyline, they don't give you an armor at one point that can cure darkness. I guess they make up for that by giving you just a ton of them every time you beat, a, beat the... Yeah. Um, uh, bats and everything, but anyway, let's go up here. I feel like I missed I missed an item somewhere, but I probably did. But, oh well. But anyway, I'll climb up this way, so chase after Eve. Yeah, you're getting all over the place, uh, Aya, that's for sure. Alright, anything that way? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, because I missed the, missed the tool in the last episode, so I wouldn't be surprised if something else got missed, but and this sewer is pretty big, although, well, I think it depends on where it is in Manhattan or, or New York, where ooh, we get the Club 3. Um, that's the best club weapon you can get in the main storyline. Um, has the steel ability, but it also has first strike. Oh, wait, I don't know why I equipped that. Um, let's uh, reload to... But yeah, we can drop off Club 2 and give it to Club 3. And no, you can't, you can't transfer melee weapons abilities to... Uh, the gun, unfortunately, so. The tools are awesome weapons that can manipulate all types of tech, but not uh, not melee tech for whatever reason. Yeah. Eh, I guess I can use the cure D on that. There we go. Yeah, we're, now with all of our power, we're just like wrecking, wrecking any creature in the game now. It's uh, you cannot stand between my awesome power. Yeah, the you know day five gets a little little danger or a little tough, but uh, nothing we can't handle. So Ew, look at all this goo everywhere. Kind of reminds me of a movie, Spider Amazing Spider-Man Two. This is or Amazing Spider-Man One. I mean. It's the audience for the from the central part. How can you tell? 
I mean, is there a face popping out of one of those? Okay, what was the point of that cutscene again? I mean, yeah, it showed it falling down, but, you know, kind of reminds me of Mood Slime. But anyway, I have to get the slime out of the reservoir before it affects the whole city. Uh, you mean Manhattan? Didn't everyone leave Manhattan? Or are you talking about just New York in general? That's probably what she's talking about. Oh, I probably should have quit. Well, maybe, maybe the fight doesn't automatically activate. I was actually going to quit my club, but, okay, cool. It doesn't automatically. Yeah, I want to quit the club for this section here because we're going to have a mini boss time against mini crocodile similar to the ones that uh, we fought back in uh, uh, the first day so let's get let's get haste on and we'll go really fast because of the club and then let's get a let's get barrier because we'll have to get in close to these guys so okay let's let's see if we can steal nope there we go. Stole some junk from his trunk. And let's see if we can seal the... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on! There we go. Gee, many Christmas. So I kept missing every other second. Ow. Yeah, these guys pack a punch. Nope. Yeah, but they basically do the exact same thing as the... Uh, as the alligator from the first one. They just don't have multiple parts, that's all. Why do I keep missing? He's not running out of my range. Weird. Whoa. There we go. Now we get range and CR of eight. Nice. I don't remember what else you can possibly get from those guys, but let's go and uh, uh, use those. Oops, I meant to actually use it. Come on. We can use it. There we go. See a protector. And I think I did miss an I think I, or maybe it's here. I think I did miss an item actually. Because I think there's supposed to be a um I think there's actually supposed to be a set of armor I I missed. Yeah, let me um uh, let me go back through the sewers again. Sorry about that folks. Because I now that I realize that I was messing with armor, I was like, you know what? I think if there's supposed to be an armor, I'm supposed to get two, and that I forgot. And I believe it's in the sewers past. Jeez, why does it take her so long to get to the thing? So let me at least. Well, I could. It might be further on. I I could have swore you can get this thing a little sooner. The it's supposed to be yeah. It's supposed to be another set of armor that you're supposed to get. But the problem is is uh. How slow it is to climb to, oops. How slime it, how slime, how slow it is to climb this thing. But, you know, let me, let me go back. Yeah, sorry about that. Just missing little details. It's probably going down through, like, one of the passageways or something like that. Um, I mean, the sewer is, in, it's like, it's like four long, five horizontal or something like that, I think is how the levels are designed. I wonder if I need to go one more off to the side or something like that to get that treasure. Let me see. Hopefully I don't run into too many encounters. I'm not trying to overgrind or anything with that. If I end up, if there isn't nothing there, then I can just get back or I'll just cut back to where, where we were before. Since, uh, since I, we all know where to go, you know, you folk, you fine folks know where to go next. Maybe it was like over here or something like that. I think it was actually. Oh, um, I think it's one more up, I think. Yeah, there is a treasure on one of these end pieces that I somehow missed. 
Yeah, that's probably it. I knew I missed uh, one treasure around here somewhere. Oh, and I missed this too. Well, missed a couple of treasures. There it is, the chemical, or no, the ceramic protector. I've got the chemical protector. Um, the big thing about that is, let me take a look at it. I think the really big thing about that is the HP max ability. Unfortunately, if you equipped it, it lowers your attack power. Um, although weirdly it shows the club. As you can see, you can see attack and that shows the bar and that shows above it, it shows like a little club and then down. So, I don't think it's, let me take a look at this pure, it's pure stats. Yeah, it's not really, I mean, it's a little bit better, but uh, I'm gonna just, uh, you know, I'm gonna use a tool I got to um, put the, um, put the HP max on my, on that, uh, that one armor there. So yeah, we'll just use the regular tool. All right, there we go. So now that'll increase our HP quite a bit. Very nice. Yeah, when I first uh, when I first played this game, I really did not utilize um, the. Oh, nice. Ah, okay. So I, I didn't do as much damage to that one. I guess I must have been a little too far off. But yeah, see how just how much damage the burst does. No, oh, we got so many. Yeah, I'm not gonna take those securities. Um, we got so many bonus points, and we're doing so much damage. So. All right, let me get the bonus points on the micro Uzi and put more points. So very nice. Yeah, we're definitely making pure peak Aya or Aya. And obviously, you don't have to use a machine gun if you don't want to for this. You could use the shotgun, grenade launcher, whatever. I mean, it's just the machine gun so fast. It's just it's almost more appropriate to uh, get a uh, do use that instead. So, uh oh. Got a lot of them. Yeah, first strike didn't activate. Oh well. Yeah. Now we can get those those dudes. So. Ah, they 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 start bundling bundling up together. Ah, dang it! I hate getting I hate being turned into a daredevil or I don't know some other blind character. Oh, I took them all. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> now I'm going to have to get, them, get rid of them from my inventory. Yeah, look at all those things. I might, at this point, I might just even get, get even end up getting rid of that revive. If we might never, I might never get a, really, a, an opportunity to really use it. Because I think we even get a psychic ability later on that actually acts as a revive, if I recall. There's the other treasures. I knew I forgot a couple. It's just with Medicine 4, but still. Um, well, I mean, Medicine 4 is good, but you know what I mean. Like, you, when you expect see treasures, you almost expect, like, some weapon or some upgrade to a weapon or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, the treasure there. Actually, I feel like there's one more... Um, treasure. I'm missing like an, another gun or something like that. Maybe it's in the next section. It could be. No, uh, more enemies. Yeah, we're kind of just running around the city. Uh oh. The poison. We got poison frogs over here. Yeah, be careful because they can poison you. So. Uh oh. Ow, dang it. I was actually hoping it was going to jump and then jump like over to the other side. Anyway, get some junk for that frog. That's one of its random drops. Yeah, I feel like I, I missed a um, I missed a treasure somewhere, like a, another uh, gun or something like that. Oh well. I think we'll uh, I think we'll after this I think we'll. Um... Oh nice! See, there you go. Ah. But I think at this point, I think we'll go back to the exit. I, I think off screen, or I'll just cut, or I'll add a, maybe at the end of the episode or the beginning of the next episode, it'll show um, whatever, if I missed another treasure, um, what it was. Because I could have swore, that, like I said, may, it might be the next section after this that, uh, that has it, but. Although I think at this point, I think we're heading back the way we came, so. Okay. Yeah, I think at this point, I think I'm going to just 
head on, head on to the treasure, or head on to the, I mean, the exit. So, all right, I'm glad I went back to find those other two. I thought, I thought I was like, I thought I missed a couple, and I did. <laughs> you think Ayo I wouldn't want to just run through the, through the sludge, you know, because of the, you know, the gooey, the gooeyness. Um, I think I can go one more over, see if I missed any. Wait, one more double check on something just in case. Oh, there it is. Ha! I knew I forgot another one. And we get the M203 weapon. That's yeah, okay. It's another grenade launcher. It has acid rounds on it. Um, I'm not going to use it, but uh, like I said, the first time I played this game, that's that's the weapon I used. And sad thing, I, I for whatever reason, when I played this game, I never really utilized um, the tool system and everything like that properly because by the time I, I got to the end of the game, I only had the grenade launcher, which was powerful. But the thing is, I didn't really utilize, like, transferring uh, stats over and stuff like that properly. So by the end of the game, I had a very bare bones grenade launcher, and I did, like, I was doing no damage to the final boss uh, because I didn't. Like I said, I don't know why. I'm not. I. Maybe I just rushed through the game, or I didn't try to figure out the, the game mechanics, because I was able to get through the whole game until the boss really, pretty easily, from what I remember, but because I didn't plan ahead or didn't do it properly, I couldn't I couldn't beat the boss, because I, I would do very little damage, and I didn't have enough, I don't think I had enough ammo, despite, I, I think I used a lot of ammo to, be, to try and hit her, or defeat her, but it wasn't like, you know, I was doing like one or two damage, or... I don't think it was one. It was like maybe 10 damage, you know? And uh, I guess I could have saved that story for when I fought the final boss, but I don't know. I think just seeing the grenade launchers kind of reminded me of that. Like I said, I've been up till Persona, uh, Persona, till Parasite Eve. I'd played multiple RPGs. I knew about leveling up and increasing your items and swapping them out. So I don't know why I never did that properly in this game. Maybe. Maybe it's because enemies never were so much of a challenge, so by the time I got to the boss, I never expected uh, to be so... I don't know. I could... Like I said, I think I... I think when I played the game, I must have just had, a, a like, a mind weirdness about me. You know, like, maybe I was treating it like Resident Evil more than a, a action RPG by Square, you know? Anyway, let's check over here. Get a lot of ammo. Very nice. And we're here to... Uh, uh, I don't think you... Know. Okay, yeah, you can save your prior save. We're not gonna do that yet, though. So, so. Um, I can move the slime to the in the reservoir by using this control panel. Um, uh, no, I don't want to turn it on. Yes, I do. All right, let's. Uh, I guess pump one. Pump one and pump two. There's not enough power. Not enough power. Oh, fuck. What the? That slime is throwing a temper tantrum. Let's see if we can take a look at that. I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just showing off. Like, I think there's supposed to be a thing about not being able to go forward or something. The water's too high to cross. Yeah, so we actually need to turn back off the pumps again so we can actually cross this thing. Okay, I was just seeing if we could actually run around or anything with that. But, but yeah, we've uh, flushed it out of the reservoir, so now we don't have to worry about, about it affecting, I guess, the rest of New York. That's the thing I'm assuming she, when they meant when they said it's going to affect everyone. So, no, oh, right back over here. Oops. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I just need to turn off all the pumps. Oops. No. <laughs> Alright, let's see if that's... I think that's all I had to do, is I think I just had to close the pumps back up. Okay. Now we can uh, hop in on here and uh, chase after that the goo. I guess we're chasing after the goo. Instead of Eve this time. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Woo. It's that time of year where, you know, there's the high off chance of getting the cold. Usually I don't get straight up colds. Or maybe it's the flu I'm thinking of. If I do, it's very, it's very short term. 
Now we got new music. Very nice. I like it. Very techno based. I guess it makes sense. Anyway, let's uh, yeah, we're see we're now we're in the actual sewer proper or sorry subway proper. There's a chest over here. Let's grab that. CR evade. All right. And I think there's some treasures up this way. I recall. I don't know if there's any encounters in here. Ah, there's another treasure over there. And we get a mess in three, and we get a safe spot there. But what does Eve have in store for us? What about the big old glob of goo? We'll find out next time in the finale of Disc 1 of Parasite Eve. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Hello.